Casey McKinnon, and this is the sneaky edition of Comic Book Orange. <laughs> I hate it when Casey just disappears. She always does it when I'm... Oh! Ah! DC Spirit comes out today by Darwin Cook and Jay Bone. <laughs> Jesus, is that you? Darwin Cook honors the Spirit's creator, Will Eisner, by staying true to the book's original, Spirit. He tells lighthearted, fun stories of two-fisted action, crazy criminals, and gorgeous dames with enough twists and jokes to keep you smiling. The Spirit himself is perfect, a handsome, casual guy, not necessarily the brightest one in the room, who appears out of nowhere to solve the crime. But the ladies love him, and so do we, because he's just so charming. Cook keeps the vibe of the 50s and 60s, but brings it into modern times, adding cell phones and computers and current issues like big media and terrorism. With finishes by J-Bone and excellent coloring by Dave Stewart, the art is easy on the eyes with bright colors and dynamic action. Basically, Darwin Cook has captured the comic book equivalent of Ocean's Eleven's cool retro-modern style. The Spirit is a wonderful book, and we highly recommend it to readers of all ages. Each issue is standalone, so grab issue number eight coming out today. We give it four oranges out of five. <sighs> Now where did she go? Huh? I saw you, Casey. I figured it out. <laughs> you thought you could hide from me this time, but no. You think you're all like solid snake where I can sneak around. Ooh, but no, nope, no. Nope. Couldn't fool me this time. IDW continues to publish Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty. Alex Garner and Ashley Wood are retelling the plot of the blockbuster video game series, which makes sense. The game's military techno thriller storylines are movie level complicated. In fact, writer Garner does a better job explaining the crazy conspiracy than the original game, and through good flow and dialogue, he avoids the jumpy, skippy feel of most adaptations. Ashley Wood was an interesting choice for an artist. On the one hand, his style matches the feel of Metal Gear's creator, Hideo Kojima. It makes for great covers and individual panels, but for following a story, not so much. The limited color palette and Wood's sharp, edgy lines can make some pages muddy and hard to follow along. Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty is not a bad comic. It made us want to replay one of our favorite video games. It's just nothing special and really won't mean anything to non-gaming readers. We give it two out of five oranges. Where is she? Oh, where is she? Hey, Rudy. <laughs> is everything okay? What a coward which is also an Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips book published by Icon. Coward is the story of Leo, a kind-hearted criminal prodigy who could have made it big time but for one thing. At the first sign of trouble, he runs away. This makes him unpopular in the criminal community, but an old colleague offers him a big heist that could redeem him. Ed Brubaker skillfully presents this story and the consequences of Leo's actions in this dark, dark world. He particularly fills it with real characters with real pain, history, and charm. Add to that clever plans and dramatic tragic turns and you have a great story. This dark world is well illustrated by Sean Phillips. He provides realistic looks to all the characters in action with no panel out of place and solid design, though it can be sometimes stiff. For those looking for a solid read of something different than Men in Tights, we recommend Coward and give it three oranges out of five. Well, those are our reviews, but don't take our word for it. Go to comicbookorange.com to submit your own reviews. You finally, if you're a creator or publisher who wants us to review your work, send us an email at reviews at comicbookorange.com. We'd love to hear from you. Bye! Ow! <laughs>